responsibilities and reputation grew in kind. I became a key stakeholder working on the front lines of brand positioning, creating relevancy, building awareness, and later fostering innovation. Growing up, I was raised to have a confident voice and throughout my career, supported by mentors to use it. That characteristic has consistently earned me a seat at the table with the ability to assuredly explore and share my ideas, no matter how unconventional they might be and regardless of who is in the room. In 2009, one such idea catapulted me from my traditional role in public relations to the wild west of social media. This singular concept would alter my career trajectory forever. Before the creator economy even existed, I plunged into an emerging world, becoming a social media pioneer in the fashion industry and one of the first examples of a fashion influencer, even though we didn't know that word at the time. I created an anonymous social media personality for my former employer, of which I was the sole voice and later the face and organically built a highly engaged cross-platform community of over 1.5 million followers, which was huge in the early days of brands on social media. I taught myself the building blocks of what it takes to authentically tell a brand's story online and foster a passionate fan base around it. When I was revealed as the person behind the persona, the news generated more than 230 million media impressions, including a full-page feature story in the New York Times. But I never imagined that the same tactics and marketing principles I had applied to my corporate work for years would later be pivotal in rebranding myself. In doing so, I evolved from a corporate employee to someone with a multimedia personal brand that includes two books, a podcast, speaking engagements, newsletters, a private online community, and a creative brand marketing and digital strategy consultancy. It didn't happen overnight, and it took hard work, consistency, and passion. The good news, I'm about to share all my insider strategies with you. Let me be clear, though. While I love a good outfit more than most, this is not a fashion book. But my learnings come from an industry built on image. We're selling it. We make you crave it. You consume it. I don't care whether you're a marketer, coach, artist, banker, athlete, consultant, entrepreneur, writer, lawyer, doctor, teacher, influencer, actor, server, bartender, administrative assistant, cashier, student, or unemployed. Simply having the skills to do a particular job doesn't cut it anymore. Of course, you need to have the credentials. That should go without saying. But more than that, no matter what you do professionally, you need your own clearly defined personal brand to cut through the noise and set you apart. Or more specifically, to put you in a position to be chosen or recommended for whatever plum opportunity you're after. Creating a personal brand is not about being famous or becoming an influencer, unless that's something you strive to be. It's about communicating who you are, what you align with, and what you do well. It's about providing value to the people around you. It's about getting the credit you deserve and everything that comes with that. Your personal brand doesn't necessarily need to live online, but having a strategic digital presence will strengthen your position. Nevertheless, it absolutely needs to exist in the real world. How you present yourself, build social capital, and exude executive presence is directly proportional to your success. True talent is delivering the message that you intend with refinement. Standing out in a sea of competition and becoming known for what you do best are the byproducts of well-crafted communication and repetition. I'm going to assume that you've picked up this book because you want to be seen, change how people perceive you, or maybe even change how you view yourself. Perhaps you have no idea and need to figure it out. Either way, you're looking to define your personal brand to help drive what you're trying to achieve. Maybe you're just curious as to what this personal brand hype is all about. If you're new to the concept of a personal brand, welcome. You may have never thought about it before, but fun fact, you already have some version of one. It starts with what makes you, you. The impression others have of you stems from how you tell your story and express your unique combination of personality, experience, and skills. It lies in both the spoken and unspoken and in your mannerisms, energy, and attitude.